Hello everyone, uh, just making another repair video here showing you how to replace a fan on my fridge. Um, the model number for my fridge is here CY23TSDCSS. It's made by General Electric. The fan unit is a uh, fail. Uh, which is located underneath here and the symptom is uh, very cold bottom fresh air uh, fresh uh, produce tray is all freeze up ice up underneath and there's very high temperature on the top of the unit here because the fan is not blowing cold air from the bottom the uh, coil inside is producing the coal and the fan is not bring up the coal to the top okay let's remove all the tray here everything here uh, for the unit and Lift it up and go out. Okay, let's get the fan over. Uh, this piece, remove the drill, drawer, take it out, lift it, and rotate it. And take the second drawer out, lift it up, okay take this tray off but before you do that, so take the glass off, uh, you can lift it, slide it back and remove it. Okay, remove this tray, lifting it, and pull out, going the other way, it's going sideways. Okay, now we're going to remove two bolts here, taking the cover off. And we can take everything here off. We're now taking all the bolt off. Okay, taking this one off. Push this one down and remove the cover. There's one behind here. Here. Okay, we need to remove this cover also. So take this one off. And there's one behind this plastic cover. Okay, make it closer. Show you how to take it off easy. Um, you push this up a little bit, pry this off, there's a clip here, like that. Push up a little bit, pry off, and take it off. You see here, there's a little channel here, and here, not swivel, right? So easy to push back in, like that. Okay, take it off, take it off. Right. Okay, let's remove the last quarter inch, quarter inch bolt. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, now we're gonna remove this cover. And the electrical connection is here. So let's get it removed. Push down and pull apart. Okay, I remove this cover. Okay, this uh, channel here, channel here, air in intake and exhaust here. Okay, to keep this compartment uh, cool, and there's a fan over here, exhaust, and the return, air return. So the air coming to the top plate circulate and go back all right so let's remove this one okay so what happened here um, because the, the fan is not blowing up and the whole bottom of the um, um, unit here is ice up and the whole thing is ice with frost and ice um, when the thing was broken and I defrost the thing and the, the water won't go it down to the drain hole okay there's a quarter inch uh, there's a quarter inch screw in here and we're gonna remove that it's loose and there's a little retainer here it slides this way so we can take it off okay so same thing for the other side we're going to unscrew that and take this one off okay so to get to the unit in here to get rid of your eyes you can open that and unplug this one, the connector for the fan unit for the lower portion. A little bit tight, squeeze this and take it out. Okay. See, there's a little fan unit in here, and there's a control flapper here with this actuator to control on or off for the fan to blow in and out. See, it's still wet here. Oops. Ah. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, we got a frostbite here, so all this is uh, melting off. The uh, styrofoam is uh, broken here, but that's okay. It's a, it's just cosmetic, right? Okay, so the unit is here. The chiller is here. There's a drain hole here. You need to make sure when you repair this, make sure all the ice is melt off and it's room temperature. And you need to dump some water, make sure the hose is free to go down into the bottom tray here. All right. Okay, now we're gonna remove, now we're gonna remove the uh, fan unit and the whole back plate. Just go like this a pull and on the bottom do a quick pull and there's a connection here be careful with this uh, don't don't want to damage that don't want to touch it because it's very fragile okay squeeze this and take it off okay now we got this on the floor um, got a unit like this right the wire is here, so we're gonna slice the wire out. Okay, this side is a little angle here, so it's easier to push out from here, like that. Okay, now we're gonna take the unit off, slide the wire off from here, and take this unit off. Okay, see, this is the new fan. Oh. A little bit dark but it's okay if move freely 
and that's the old fan it's got stuck the bearing is gone okay bearing is gone okay this one has a silicone boot we have to take it off so we just do this there's a little ear here okay. so that's the new unit Okay, silicon is very soft. Okay, anyway, this is the model number. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. The number here is uh, V80E14MS2Alpha3-57A611. That's the model number. And if you search on the Amazon, you probably do this one. The WR, uh, let's zoom in a little bit. The bottom one here, W W R six zero X one zero three something three five six three five six. Yeah. Anyway, you can see it here. Zoom in a little, a little bit. Okay, that's the model number to search. All right. Anyway, I'll put a link in the description so it's easier for you to uh, do the search. Let me back up a bit. Okay, let's install the fan. Okay, so uh, let's pause the video here a little bit. Oh. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, the ear, the two ear is on the bottom. I'll just slide it in and to get the wire in here into the crack and same thing here let's do the wire one by one Okay, do this one by one. So, push up, crack will open a little bit. It's okay. That's in the Okay, last wire. Hi, Ginger, are you okay? Hmm? <laughs> okay, let's do the Check out my dog. Ginger. Okay, we're back. Um, let's get this piece put back into the freezer. Line, line it up. There's two, there's a few clip here. There's clip here, 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 here. Yeah. So make sure they all get clip in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. The alignment mark we go in here and that line up. Okay, snap, 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 snap. Here, these two snap, snap, and also the bottom one snap and snap. Okay. They all get snap in. Okay, so the screw here is the shortest one with white color. Okay, so those two are going back in there. Okay, now we're not going to use the uh, the drill. We're going to just use the hand tool. Okay. 
put the bottom one in. And let's put the top one in. Oops. Oh yeah, and to make it easy, easier for your install, you can put a put some tape here so the screw uh, it'll grab the screw. Just uh, one second, let me put one more tape on. Okay, now we're gonna plug in the connector, and there's a alignment mark here. Make sure you align them. And plug it in. Okay, click, click. That's in. And let's flip, uh, plug this one back in also. There's a alignment mark here on this one. So we're going to do that. Uh, I think it's this side. Okay. Okay, let's click in. Okay, that's the heater here. And this one will go inside and make sure we don't touch those don't damage those and make sure the wire get tucked back in to the to the space here so they won't get caught up on the heater okay okay make sure they're aligned Now we're gonna put this screw back. Uh, this is the long one, or the long one with color, with white color. Okay, let's put this one aside. And this five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay, I got my electric tape, small strip. We put it in here, okay, and that will hold this nicely to put it in so it won't fall off. And you want to put them in and not over tighten them, just enough. It's all plastic, right? So. We don't want to make it too tight, just snug. Okay, now we're gonna put the cover back in for the electrical connection. Just do it here, the clip is here. And that will align to this too, right? Okay, click in. Okay, we're ready for the side panel here. So this one has this, remember? We have a little notch here, so we have to put it in and slide in. Okay, that lock. Okay, we have uh, four screw left. The long one is for here. See the electric tape is holding it, so it's kind of holding it sideways, right? Find the hole. If you don't have this tape, it won't line up properly. Okay, let's get the other side. Okay, other side. Here, make sure the wire is coming this way. And put it into the notch and push back in. Again, long screw. 
put it in, line up the hole, uh, back up a bit. It's a long screw. Okay. Now we put the bottom drawer back in. Line up here with the hole and put it back in. It moves freely. Okay. The top play. You can slide from here in, into the notch. Okay. Pull this out a bit. Slide the back in. You have to align here to put it back. Okay. Okay. Uh, put the panel electrical cover back in. The connector. Plug in the connector. Put the wire back in. Into the hole. Okay, that's the temperature sensor here for the lower unit, in case you want to know. Okay. There's a little clip here. Put it down, clip in. Alright. This side. Okay, now we have all the screw put in. We're gonna put in this uh, top tray, top drawer. Okay, like this. Put it on the top. Just follow this tray and I'll just clip in, right? And we're gonna put the glass back in. It slides in like this. Like that. A lot of people, if you don't do this, might break the glass. Okay, now we're gonna put in the drawer. Oh yeah, I forgot the cover, so we're going to align this two notch to here, like so, and follow it, bring it down, push it in, and push snap. That's it for that cover. Almost done, putting all the tray back in. Different high for different stuff. Okay. Last two. Okay, this one is uh, I have to be careful with this one. Okay, now we're gonna plug it in and give it a try. Okay, just got this plug in. Everything power up. And we're gonna put a uh, temperature sensor here. And that is unit number two.
close to the temperature sensor here for the upper unit. And we're gonna put a, another temperature sensor here in the fresh produce unit here. We set number uh, four degree. Okay, and we'll come back after 30 minutes to see if the temperature go to the right unit here. Let's set temperature to 3 degree on the top unit and the bottom unit will be 4 degree. Centigrade. Okay, this is 24 hour later, and the fridge is performing as expected. The upper compartment is set for four degrees C, and is hovering between one to about six degree with door closed. I just opened the door earlier so the temperature is rising a little bit. And here's my setting. It's um, three degree. And the actual degree, actual temperature is around three degree also. That's from the fridge temperature. And yes, it's working, it's back to normal, working good now. Uh, here is, yeah, actually 7 degree, and fresh food is, I think what, 1.6, I think, not very clear, 1.6 degree. Thermal image. I to, just need to do a quick calibration, I think. Here's my eight soup. Okay, that's it for the video. If you like this, please give me a like. That will help a lot. And I will also put a link in my video description for Amazon shopping, of course. And there will be a diagram from other website to show you where other pieces is. And, uh, you can probably get the parts uh, from there also. Okay, have a good one. Bye-bye.